Well lads, what's the crack and welcome back to another new video in KT at GM. Today we're back with another match day vlog, Roscommon VR Ma. Currently we're in Roscommon in some sort of parking space here, some sort of shopping place. I'm not really too sure, but like we're here parked anyway, two hours until throw in. Well, that's an interesting match because Roscommon have started off very well this season. So if Arma is going to be a very tight match, my prediction is Arma win the two points. But yeah, like two hours to kick, to throw in, should I say. It's still a long wait and well. Pisces are all in at Dr. Hyde Park. Here we are on the walk now to Dr. Hyde, as you can see, all the cars. It's getting pretty busy here in Roscommon. Here we are now, coming up to the stadium. There is Dr. Hyde Park. It's up there. People are already in the sand bearing so that. Good to have a change of satin for GA Stadium. And here we are. And Dr. Hyde the cover. Here's our view for the game then. They're pretty good seats in the covered stand. And, uh, must be a bit over an hour to throw in. Here's the both teams then. We're starting off with Armagh and once again it's pretty much a similar team as to the first two matches. And then as for us coming then, they've performed well this year. Two good players in there, Connor Cox, Enda Smith, Jeremy Murta as well. So an hour until throw in here on Ross Common. Here's the Armagh team out now. Well, I'd say there's about 20 or 30 minutes even, something between that and Pilter And hey. with the 2G car pundits there is newly appointed GA President Jonathan Burns from Armagh. This is Ross Comet team out now training. We've got about 20 minutes now in Pilter Owen and the main stand is full. That shows you that there's going to be a big crowd at this one. Stop for the UGA president, Charlotte Burns, who is in attendance today. The game begins. Come on, Armand. Point for us, Hammond. After about 15 minutes, I'm not too sure. Level the game. Cross Common score this one.
then here in Roscommon and Armagh lead 8-7 at the break and well first half is back that been very promising for Armagh you know, a few star performers Jardy O'Burns uh, Jason Duffy's got four points I do believe I think he's been playing pretty good in this one uh, and we've got a few other good players in there as well Roscommon I uh, don't think we've been seeing too much special from them but I mean when they do get the chance they do tend to score quite a lot of points so the second half will be interesting but I still do think that Armagh will get the win in the second half so we'll see you all then at the start of the second half not only is there a big massive pitch in Dr Hyde but just before you get to that when you enter there is this pitch here as well which I believe the club is playing definitely good facilities here in Roscommon new view for the second half just switching it up a wee bit well, I must say so it's a pretty good view over the other end of the sand or the stadium should I say but just like here in Roscommon Starting for a wee bit, the super cost. Second up against Monarma. Ross Common. Very poor start the second half for an hour. This is the one for Ian. Penalty here for Ross Common. And if the score, then Armagh are down by four points. I'm gonna have to look at that again because I'm not too sure what went wrong there and how that was a penalty. It's number 15 stepping up the take. about to kick off here. There's a man down, a real common man down. Three points in the end. 
So lads, there you go then, Russ Common winning out by three points in the end. And well, it is Armas' first defeat of the early campaign. Now, the first half was definitely very good, as I said, at half time. But then in the second half, I thought uh, it definitely didn't come out well. I'm mean, just that we'll give Russ Common too much time in the ball. A bit sloppy, a few sloppy shots from Miles out, which we shouldn't have been taking. And overall, it wasn't the greatest second half. And well, us common did run out as winners. I think if we did play as well in the second half as we did in the first half, 100% we're winning that game because I thought Ross Common weren't even that good. I mean, sure, they'd have been in the end fair play to them, but like, the overall, they weren't great. Like, I mean, they definitely were there for the taking, but overall, it just wasn't happening for us today. I mean, Rain O'Neill hit the post twice in that second half, and well, I tell you what, just wasn't happening for us in this one. And well, all we have to do is keep our heads high and move on. Next week, we're away to carry us a massive game, and that will be some match to watch as well. The likes of David Clifford, Paddy Clifford, Sean O'Shea taking on our man. As Daphne will be decent down in Tralee and well, it's going to be interesting to see who will come out on top on that one. So that will end it is. Match day vlog, I hope you enjoy it. Remember to like, share and subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you all for the support on the channel once again, I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all once again in KTFG very, very soon.